Hey, what's going on, everybody? D here, and welcome to Enderall Forgotten Stories, which is a complete overhaul, total overhaul mod for Skyrim. So basically, it is essentially a, a bunch of modders made a entirely new game in the Skyrim engine. Like, it even has its own Steam store page and its stuff, which I've never seen before for a mod. It's pretty crazy, but I've never played it before. So we're gonna give it a go today, starting today rather. It'll it'll be expanding, <laughs> expanding across many, many days. I have no doubt. All right, I have no mods installed other than the Rudy EMB. Make the graphics just a little, a little nicer. I don't have any texture mods or anything. I'm kind of just going into it, you know. I think for a first playthrough of a game, you probably shouldn't install mods really. That's my opinion. And this is technically my first playthrough of Enderall. So, I mean, it's no technical about it. It is my first playthrough of Enderall. Why, uh, I add mods right now, you know? I am not using the special edition version, so hopefully it's okay. <laughs> I don't wanna, I don't wanna fiddle with my special edition because my Skyrim installation. I know it doesn't really interact with it, but I still just wanna be safe. I haven't I haven't updated my uh, Skyrim special edition. I don't know if that matters, and I don't plan to ever do so. I'd rather just stick with we'll just stick with the normal Skyrim. I'm gonna do a little exploring, see what's going on. It's nice to have music this time. I installed it to the wrong hard drive, and it apparently had no music because of it. So I had to reinstall it to my main SD drive to fix that. Looks pretty good. I don't know if there's anything in the beginning to capture. To capture? Collect. <laughs> They're not Pokemon. No, they could be. Uh, I think I missed a house. Yeah. So basically, this game is going to be very, very similar to Skyrim, but it's not the world of Skyrim. It's not the Elder Scrolls world. It is its own thing. I don't know the world's called or anything. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Read nutritiousness of meat. Meat is life. The ash people who were populating this world before us knew that. She didn't kill an enemy in a battle. Tore out a liver. And heart of the fallen ate them together with their family. Yeah, sure. I'll take the book. <laughs> Probably not going to read a lot, I'll be honest. I'm not an audiobook. I'm here to play games. We got here a doll. Another nutritiousness of meat. Weird. Alrighty. Apparently we really like the meat. Also, I didn't comment on it, but there was <laughs> there's some burning pyres over there. Kind of glances over that a bit. Probably not normal. This looks really good though with the EMB. It still looks pretty good without the EMB, I'll show you real quick. This is what Enderall looks like by Vanilla. It's pretty green, colorful. Still looks pretty good. Boom. Sounds bugging out because I turned my EMB off. Turn that back on. I don't know why that would affect the sound. Weird. Let's never do that again. What is this? I just figured I'd show off what it looks like a little bit. Scribbled notes. Lord Omaker, I can hear you calling. I feel your love. I know about your sacrifice without you. I am nothing a twig of the currents of time, a sheep without shepherd. Beautiful my vices. Forgive me for my trespass. Give to my wife, my child, deliver me from babies, and bless us with your everlasting mercy. Sure, I'll take that one for later. This playthrough is going to be a long playthrough. Everything on this channel is going to be pretty much a long playthrough until I hopefully beat the game. Uh, I won't be streaming this. This should just be YouTube recordings. I'm going to keep them about 45 minutes long, I think. Unless I decide to up it to an hour or whatever later. That's what I'll shoot for. My channel's new, currently. This will be one of the first videos on that channel, so... You know. Let's start somewhere. Alright, there's Daddy. But what else is there? What secrets do you have, Daddy? The walls. Mm. He wins this time. Let's talk to Daddy. Oh, hey there. 
I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did like you your find face. It? Also, why is it making me look over there? <laughs> uh, what is this place, Daddy? Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? We're at home, silly. Where else would we be? Just mommy, sister, you and me. Now tell me, how did it go? Did you find it? No, oh, I didn't. No? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? Ugh. That's me. Oh, well, who knows? I know what I'm looking for. Why don't you go inside and see if you can help mommy with the cooking? The creator was kind to us today and sent a big fat elk right in front of my bow. All right? All right. Pizza back on the menu, boys. Maybe. We, we look. We got all these books that tell us the precious of meat, so. Good. What's this? Search leak. It does come with Sky UI pre installed, which is pretty cool. I really appreciate that. Sky UI makes Skyrim so much better. <laughs> I would have not enjoyed it nearly as much having to use the vanilla UI made for consoles. I don't know if we get to keep any of this shit, but you know. Kleptomaniac's doing a kleptomaniac, am I right? <laughs> Fucking Christ, it scared me. <laughs> I hate kids. Ugh, get it out of here. What is all this? Eddie's savory meat pies recipe. Alright. I can pick up a lot of alchemy ingredients and stuff. That's not weird. Pretzel? Immersive. Huh. I'm trying to get the vibe that this is not normal. Where's the key? It's a little weird. Also very dark in this corner. I see shit. I do have a slight reflective of my screen from the light around me. Convenient. The art of crispy meats. Oh, we can take all this inventory away from me. I have seen at least the first, like, intro of this game. So. <laughs> I, uh, I know. I know it's coming to a point. But I have no idea if you actually get to keep this. I'm just going to see if you don't. I have not seen that far, though. Like, literally, right after this, pretty much is all I've seen of this mod. Oh, there he is. Oh, I'm sure I just realized. I'm a child. My, my, I totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? What about mommy and sister? What? Now would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. They're dead, don't you remember? You murdered them back then, both of them. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. You sure. still remember how to do this, right? I do like First, meat. First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. Got I'll it. look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime to cut off the head. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? <laughs> He's so... <laughs> so nonchalant about all this. Uh, well, I guess we're going to go with option number three. That seems the most reasonable one. Oh, silly, what's this again? We both know that's a lie. You did it. I remember it all. First, no. you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. Uh, she screamed and screamed, and Mommy heard it, but when she finally got there, nothing was left of her but burnt flesh. And... Oh, gosh. Do we really need to go through this again? You know how sad it makes me when you do this. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. Okay. You hear me? Nothing. All right. Now, please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. Hey. Uh, I guess we'll go with option two. That's probably the right one. Oh, by the creator's name, why are you telling these lies? 
Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? Us. You know? Daddy, please. Sometimes I wish the creator would have made me just a little less merciful. Just a little less pious. Because then I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened. Oh my. And it's instead of weird. raising you, feeding you, and loving you like a father does. Dark. I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Yes. I like horses. I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. Just like you killed us. And now, you think you're safe because we're all under the earth, don't you? Well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead don't forget. Do you hear me? The dead don't forget. I got no, hot here. Just me. I'm bloody starving. Bring me the meat and spoil. Hey, Rod. Bring it to me. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. 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 What the fuck is this intro? <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's weird. All right. I I guess Daddy was a real drag. Let's begin with a question. It might sound simple to you at first, but I pray you to think about it. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three years ago. With the death of the Lightborn. For 4,000 years, they had reigned over this world. Seven Arcanists, who through their magic, had acquired eternal life. In a time of chaos, they gave mankind what they thought it needed most. To be ruled over with an iron-clad, fair hand. Within just one century, they united the shattered lands, and a single century later, their human origin was forgotten. They became gods, or lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. Yet the longer they reigned, the louder the voices grew that accused them of tyranny. The loudest being that of Naranzul Aranthio. And he succeeded in achieving what was once thought impossible. He gathered an army overturned the Lightborn, and gave back freedom to mankind. However, the price for this was high, because where there are gaps of power, fights erupt. As such, this world grew into what it is today, shattered, riven, and broken into pieces. All of this was merely a diversion, so that no one would notice something else. The death of the Lightborn had set something into motion, a clockwork. Having long stood still, its gears now once again slowly began to turn. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. I do love freedom. That's why I'm American. <laughs> Freedom! Well, that's William Wallace. Shit. Oh well. I'll probably Shh, turn that on post. Hey, quiet, damn it. Loud. You wanna wake up the entire ship or what? You mean? Well, I mean, nice piece of meat. That was a bit harsh. I, I'm just nervous, that's all. It was that dream again, wasn't it? I. It was. Uh huh. Seriously, if we had a penny for every night since we met where you woke up screaming, we'd probably be traveling to Andoral in our own starship and... Well, not like this. Some things never change, I guess. If starships in this Do game? Do you ever ask yourself if maybe you blame yourself for all of this? For what happened to your family, I mean. Again? With the families? I didn't do it. Uh... Okay. We're in a ship. Vaguely look around. 
looks pretty cool. I don't know, maybe, but even if I do, what's the difference does it make? Nonsense, this bastard from the temple killed them, not me, and I know that. Uh, let's do the first one, because I don't really know. Well, there must be a reason that you dream the same thing over and over, mustn't there? I'm no scholar, but maybe these dreams are trying to tell you something. Oh, I, I don't know. Hey, you're right, you're not a scholar. Shut up, you bastard. Say the temple thing, or I don't know, maybe, but even if I do, what difference does it make? We'll do that one. None. You're right. Maybe we did kill them. But... I don't know. Who knows? Maybe everything is going to be different now. It's strange, isn't it? The way life sometimes goes. Now, if you had told me that a few weeks ago, I would have at the very least called you insane. But if the stories are true, there's no better place for a fresh start. Can you believe it? Apparently, there aren't even any slaves on Enderal. It's amazing. Only this whole blind passenger thing is making my headache. Your freedom in Enderal. Very cool. The fucking voice acting is top notch in this. Feels like it's just straight out of a RPG Bethesda game. Without, without any, like. You know? It's quality. Uh, so is the cutscene, to be fair. Uh, it's not our fault the ship is so poorly guarded. We couldn't have afforded the passage fee anyway. Me too. We're going to pay our debt as soon as we have earned some money over there. It's not our fault the ship was poorly guarded. Not our fault. Damn it, we're thieves. Frauds. And unlike you, I actually have a problem with that. Ah. But anyway, what's done is done. I just hope the Andralians are easier on Outlanders than the Neremis are. I said in the Your top left was he had a problem with well, not she? Where exactly did she come from? You've told me a hundred times, but uh, I just keep on forgetting it. Can I be a Khajiit? No, of course not. So we have, uh, seems to be some sort of elf. They obviously have their own races, because this is not actually the Elder Scrolls. I'm not going to read every description, I don't think. Use what I think will be cool, I guess. I don't want to be an elf. Face tattoo? And he does. It's William Wallace, speak of the devil. Uh means are deemed to be blessed businessman, rumor. Oh, actually this might be important. Maybe we should read the descriptions. It depends on what way we're gonna play this game, right? I still don't actually know what kind of character I want. Uh magic. Yeah, elf magic boy. Most oh, heavy armor, two-handed health, and handicraft. I don't know what handicraft is. Crafting? Maybe. Or hand to hand? They called it weird. Handicuff. <laughs> uh, okay. So the bonus in rhetoric, carrying capacity, sleight of hand, and marksman. I don't know what rhetoric is, but these sound like thieves things. So these might be the thief class. I'm guessing. Mage, warrior, thief. What would be the fourth? Uh, half Quarian start with a bonus of light armor, one handed stamina, and alchemy. Okay. Uh, I'll try not to spend too much time in the character creator. I, I tend to not do that so well. I kind of want to do a heavy armor guy. I don't want to do two-handed sword because I'm doing a Skyrim playthrough with heavy armor and two-handed swords. So I'm about to do an Oblivion playthrough with light armor, one-handed swords. Oh, we'll mix that up. But they're also going to be a thief, but Oblivion playthrough. I kind of don't want to do three different playthroughs that are very similar, even though this game is very different, I guess. Uh, so that... Basically leaves a wizard, didn't it? Should we be a wizard? I, don't want to be a wizard. I just did a necromancer playthrough on my other YouTube channel. <laughs> it was like super long. I've, I've had my fill of wizards. We could just do. We don't have to use like. We can do heavy armor, and sword and shield. That sounds fun. I'm a bit. And we could just throw in some wizardy stuff. I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll be Braveheart. You male or female? Sex? Yes, please. 
<laughs> I always love that from Austin Powers. You guys fell out of form. Sex? Yes, please. Uh, I might just use one of the previous set heads. Honestly, I don't mind this head. I changed the face tattoo. Other than that. Okay. How do I do that? Maybe I'll change the hair as well. And that'll be good enough for me. I want to see what they have available as well. Where is that hairstyle? <laughs> I hate, I hate this hairstyle, this one. Either go bald or don't. You can't choose the middle ground. <laughs> Unless you have a baseball cap, of course. Uh, be a dashing man. I don't know what this world is like, you know? Look at this hair. It's so fab. Should we be Mr. Fabio? I have like a beard. Yeah. <laughs> we look like... Uh, the hair just is so... So silky. Wow, we're beautiful. I look a bit like Jesus. Or some Gondorian or something. Alright, sure. Uh, I still have the face tattoo. How do I get rid of that? Or change it? Lotion color. I don't know. Dude, here we go. I mean, if I was going to have a tattoo, I probably wouldn't have that color. I don't think we want a tattoo. Well, maybe. Look at Cal Drogo. Color. All right, this will be this will be. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, that'll do. There's our guy. What a man! Wow. Actually, wait. One last thing. That color. I'm horrible. <laughs> uh, the lighting doesn't help with the eye color. I can't even tell what colors these are, except for the pitch black eyes of the blind ones. Just leave whatever the first one is. Alright. Our name, our character. His name will be... Fabio. Ah. Fablio. <laughs> there you go. Arazio. Right. How could I have forgotten? She was one of the few free people who ever set foot on a ship. <sighs> anyway... Whew, I'm gonna hit the hay for an hour or so. It's, it's your turn hair. to stand. Wait. You hear that? Where do you stand there? Yes. Someone's coming. Women nowadays just don't want a man to court them anymore. That's the problem. I tell you. Ooh. I'll take that. Sometimes I long for the good old days. Back when I could lift a skirt and nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Fuck you. Now, where did I put that key? Oh, blazes, what do they want down here? The lamp, quickly, put out the lamp. Good. Now, quiet. Ah, here we go. My, it smells like Vartier's balls down here. Say now, what's that chest supposed to look like? Vartier's balls. With the crest of the Blue Island Coalition on it, I think. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah, right, right. Black Guardian knows what the captain wants it for this shortly before arriving. You go look upstairs. I'll see if I can find it down here. Some good pirate voice acting okay. right there. Oh shit. Oh, dear. I don't leave us any choice. We need to do something quick. You take on the old guy, I'll take the young one. Go! Okay. Yeah, move. There we go. 
Someone's there. Throw a hook to the face! Stand those low. Is there, is there two punches? Come on, dodge! You can do it! Fucking piece of shit! Oh my god. Pay for that. Be beat to death! I thought you said I'll take the old guy! Come on, man! Shit, I'm gonna die. Get me trapped by the stairs. I mean, you knocked the son of a bitch out. Come on, man! Right, Is there a block? <laughs> Did it tell me how to block? I forgot. There you go. You got him. Yeah. That was close. You close. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That wasn't part of the plan. <sighs> Not at all. Oh, what in blazes are we going to do now? I don't know, I'm freaking out, man. Kill them, it's safer that way. Maybe we should turn ourselves in. I don't gag them when we arrive, we sneak out. Uh, what kind of character am I going to play? I think I might be a bit evil in this playthrough. Yeah, or we could be good guys. Evil's always more fun. Let's kill them. Kill them? Blazes, are you out of your mind? I don't want to stop a new life as a murderer. This entire blind passenger thing is... Oh, oh by the gods, why does nothing in my life ever go as planned? Well, my fist is ready. Tie them up. Yes. Those veins. Yes, that's it. We need to tie them up and gag them. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Come on. Help me search. There must be a rope or something. That does make more sense. I thought we were over the hump when we made it on board. It just can't ever be easy, can it? Careful, serious. Better rope. Poor lost souls. The probabilities have turned against you. What the? Who are you? You are confused by Hello? my sudden appearance. But my identity is irrelevant. Seems dark. Maybe we just as are you, dear Sirius. A little better. Unfortunately. What? Oh shit, please don't tell anyone we're down here. Please. We didn't mean any harm. These guys were just You ask that I not reveal you. For your intentions were not evil. And I believe you. But sadly, it's not compassion that rules my deeds. The first beat of a wing must happen. It is the only way the probabilities will fall into place. This is the way it has to be. Oh. The way it has been for eons. I am sorry. What the? Oh no! Uh. No! What are you doing? Please! Just don't leave! We, were, we just wanted to! I just have it. The cheeky one in the corner. Come on. Is that illegal? Probably. Oh shit. Well, that's not a good start. The two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. Then when Rick and Seabald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. Is that about it? Yes. I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame. We... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us the war. It, we, we just wanted a second chance. That's all. A second chance. That's pirate hat. Yes. I think I understand you. I like it. You wanted to start a new life in a new land. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Yes, we could work for you, you, you know? We could scrub the deck, peel potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived... Oh, serious. Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. But let's be honest. You did have a choice. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. 
Instead, you've nested on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. And now you're feeding me this bullshit yes. about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? I know your kind. You are cutthroats. Filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for well. explanations. Oh gosh, if there's the one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up, Ruger. I really grip me in with him. Do it. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. You should have stayed in their room. Oh, but no. <laughs> My boy. Can do this? Oh, believe me, I can. <laughs> no, I. Being in the Skyrim mention, that's just... I mean, it does have a Skyrim vibe, obviously. Oh well, look at that. It does Someone's feel different though. Woken up. Rise Maybe look at the game sideways. Tie him and his friend together and feed them to the fish. Good luck in your new life, friend. Dark. Oh my god. Hit me in the head. I need my head. What the hell? This. Me the water. Kinda cool. Breathe. <gasps> Tell me, what is time? To the dead. Dreaming, dreaming anyway. They so many people just talk, 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 and How never does it to be powerless? This is about your damn pride, Tina. I know I'm not real. And it's not according to your definition. I know damn well I'm evil. It's just... Yeah. And there is nothing I can do. This isn't happening. But then again, this just isn't happening. what is reality and Selfish fool! Cutscenes are so loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn the done in post for everyone, but holy shit, my ears. Hopefully it's not coming through my headphones into my microphone, so you hear it double. First first things first, can I turn those down? Because holy crap. No. It does, it actually has less sound sliders than Skyrim's special edition plays. I don't remember how how many I, this might be the amount that original Skyrim had. Legendary edition or whatever. I haven't played it in so long. I don't know. What the hell is this? I'll just have to stick to turning on the cutscenes in post, I guess. Assuming I remember to do it. I can rip your ears if I don't. The first cutscene was kind of loud, but not too bad. That one was... Quite. Okay. Assassination. This is our... Tree. Ooh, you're a werewolf? You could just start as a werewolf? That magic? Net of souls, phasmalists. I, just, I don't know what a phasmalist is. <laughs> Tempest. Can I click on them without, like... This memory unlocks all warrior disciplines for you. It also reduces the weight of heavy armor by 10% and grants you the talent Rage, which raises your weapon damage for a short time. Okay. Cool, we get, can actually look at them. Allows you to construct ghostly companions for you from the dead, souls of dead people by using knowledge and enchanting. Fasmals can be used with every style of play. Warrior, mage, rogue, or assassin. Hmm. That could be fun. I mean, I did just get done with a Necromancer playthrough, but, you know. What about second Necromancer playthrough? We could be a warrior who can summon an unde undead friend. That's that's probably a thing, maybe. Oh, all mages split for you. You receive permanently boosted mana regeneration as well as talent power, talent focus, which lowers mana cost for all spells. Okay. Let's use wolf blood potions and Kaimika as a means to transform into a werewolf. To hear the duration of your transformation is limited to three at most three minutes. Strength of wolf form is calculated from many factors. First of all, your alchemy level, your attributes, and your weapon spells. Individual aspects of transformation can be changed with Kaimika. I'm going to say that right. 
Oh. Look at Thrope is compatible with every style of playing. That's pretty tempting, not gonna lie. And of course, rogue skills. Since I plan on playing a, a very sneaky pirate in Oblivion, I don't really want to do that. Playing a two-handed warrior in Skyrim. I'm kind of I'm kind of leaning towards the werewolf because it'd be something different for me. But oh. werewolf necromancer. <laughs> Uh, I can go for it. Let's do it. Find a recipe for wolf blood. How do you? I can't go into third person. Is there no third person in this game? Maybe. World by Team Fly. I can't seem to zoom out. Or maybe it won't let me yet. I don't know. Entirely possible you can't play this game in third person. Maybe this mod forces you into first person. Nope, it doesn't. I just couldn't zoom out yet. There we are. We are jacked! Look at those, look at those abs! Wow. Alright. We're a werewolf man. Very cool. Let's see what we got. Meditate to unlock new memories and let's make yourself stronger. So this is how we get to our level of screen, I guess. And I believe that's all we got. Nope. Increases heavy armor two-handed by two. Health by ten and handicap by four. A cultural bonus. We have a weird fever. You feel odd, cold, at the same time feverish. It takes a toll from you from your focus up your thoughts. Compared to capacity, you reduce by seven. I mean, we carry with 353. That's pretty good. I do. I like the rain effects on the, the screen. Is that part of the EMB? All right, just bear with me for a second. I think it's part of the EMB. I'm not seeing it happen. All right. It was a dog and stole me now. This is pretty cool, man. Emerald water. Where the hell do I go? Wonder how open world this mod is. I'm I'm pretty sure it's open world game like Skyrim, and not just a linear experience. But I also don't really know. So. Guess we'll find out. Probably recorded a few of these in a row, I think. Wait, I can uh, really get dived, dived in, you know? <laughs> oh, hang on. I, I do hate in this game how they make act with your left hand, right click, and vice versa. What's the first thing I change? This doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> it's like, left click should be my left hand, you know? <laughs> I'll never understand that one. Alright, let's go for a little explore. We gotta be looting stuff, right? How deep is this water? Very deep. This looks great. Let me made this. I mean, you could say the same about any video game. <laughs> so, scenery. Somebody made this. This is a mod. But it's a full on mod. Full scale mod, which is basically a game. It's like, I guess they just wanted to make an RPG game, and they're like, well. I guess we'll just make it in Skyrim. I guess it works. No? I like Skyrim. Everybody loves Skyrim. 
You can do a lot of Skyrim damage, to be fair. As Bethesda has found by using the same engine for the dawn of time. May not be the best engine, but it's our engine. <laughs> little engine that could. Ooh. Until something. A saw? Ah, nails. Protection and protection from fire rancid. Oh my goodness. It's got like. Potions. I saw that. Potions spoil in this. Okay. That reminds me of Morrowind. Potions used to go bad. They removed that after Morrowind. I think Morrowind was actually the only Elder Scrolls I had that. I didn't remember. We got some things to sell at least, I guess. Oh, this is exciting, man. It's like I'm playing a new Elder Scrolls. Almost. See, not quite. <laughs> I wish I was playing the new Elder Scrolls. Here we go, we'll do a little mining. We'll do some crafting, of course, you know. This mod has its like own items and everything, so. Gotta look at stuff. And also, I just like crafting in video games. I have a new sword, though. Oh, right, I forgot you could dual wield. I'd never dual wield in Elder Scrolls games, ever. Except for that one time I played a thief. Ask him another. I could dual wield. We could do like a dual wield heavy armor wearing werewolf. Terrible idea. I don't like the ability to not dodge, though, or block. So, I, I, I kind of like the sword and board. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are they dead? I can still hear it breathing. Pit rat. Using the skeever model. As you would. They're all penny coins. Yeah, they're a little, they're a money. Right, I am getting close to the 45 minute mark here. Wrap it up soon. I oh, I don't think we need empty wine bottles. I'm not that desperate for money. I get a little bit further. It seems the music has stopped, but I think that's just because there's no music here. I did fix my music bug, so I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Doesn't work. <laughs> This is looking ominous. Go a little, little bit further. I'm just always curious to see what the game looks like without E and B. It looks great without E and B, to be honest. I still, I still like it better with it. But you could easily play this without E and B, and just it'd be fine. Which I almost did. I was like on a whim. I was like. Do they have E and B's for this? There is a there is a couple. Rune key. Okay. Must be holding it. Really doing the torch. Goes by learning books. Oh shit! I got a book, didn't I? Also, it says there's a book at his feet. Increases elementalism for apprentice. Cool. Where's that book at his feet? I said there's maybe it wasn't a skeleton. Ah, the skeleton. One-handed apprentice. Not enough learning points. No. How many learning points do I have? Well, not obviously, but I would have used the one-handed thing first <laughs> had I had I realized. That's fine. I think that's a skeleton key model. Is it 
cool, cool looking key though. Some the music. What the hell's this? I don't know. The key in that? You. Okay, I see what's going on here. Ooh. That's neat. You're gonna bring up a jump thing? Parkour? Hell yeah, I hate parkour. <laughs> what? I don't know why I sounded excited about it, but also the fact that I hate it. I'm pretty sure I have two rune keys. The other one for it. Maybe up here? Let's find out. That's pretty cool. I like the uh, activated stairs and stuff. I do love a good like dungeon where there's like puzzles and the. I mean, I'm not. I'm not a smart man, Jenna. Eh? I do appreciate a good puzzle now and then. That's not really a puzzle. But... Like the modders didn't just make it. Here's a staircase. They're like, put a key in a hole and make a thing and do some stuff. More exciting, you know. Pretty neat. So there's a lot of fog sponge. I don't know if I have auto save on my do. Okay, I have a real save. Is there? <laughs> I forgot that it was Fablio. Incredible. All right, so with 46 minutes, I'm gonna just go a little bit longer. I'll do 50. I'm kind of indecisive. I'm in just undecided whether I want to do like an hour long or 45 minute videos. I don't know what's better. I could easily play for days. But I do have to split them up. YouTube's sake. Alright. Well, nothing in here. A couple of lockpicks. I'll take it. Guessing we're gonna have Skyrim's lockpicking system. Fine by me. I like Skyrim's lockpicking system personally. It's simple. It's also like it feels better than Oblivion's. <laughs> God, I, I hate Oblivion's lockpicking. Uh, some nice lighting. Very annoying. A lot of people hate Skyrim's lockpicking, but like. I think out of most lockpicking systems I've played, uh, it's all right. You know, there's probably you could probably come up with something a lot more unique and cool. Ah, oh. hell! What the fuck is going on? My arcane fever is getting worse. What does that mean? Oh, jeez. Okay, maybe we should be quick. Uh, hold row this. Um, what if what happens if our arcade fever gets too high? Do I get disco fever instead? <laughs> I'm gonna die. All right, I got a rope though. Slight armor. I was expecting it to just be cloth. Cloth. Asher. I just got a lot of arcane fever. Uh, I. Hoping that's okay. Alright, I think we're gonna save it here. Uh, you know, there's much there's much more to be done. That has been the first episode of Enderall. I'm enjoying this so far. It feels good, you know? And I'm looking forward to diving in for a, a few more a few more hours. <laughs> I'll probably record like three hours straight of this or something. Who knows? Oh yeah, uh, this should be out hopefully fairly regularly on this channel. You know, if you like it, thumbs up, I guess, the video. Sub subscribe to the channel. You know, everything helps my channel grow. You know, let me know if you like it. If you're one of the few that have seen it. All right, until then, catch you next time.